Welcome back to NRM 435. In this session, we're going to cover an application. So we have a geodatabase container of duck nests and ponds. And the point duck nests has an attribute for species where one is mallard, two is pintail, and three is widgeon. And it has another attribute or field for age class. And in this application, we're interested only in mallard, so species code one. And we're testing a hypothesis that older age class mallards tend to nest closer to the shoreline of the ponds. So using ArcMap, we want to create a table for mallard locations by age class, how many nests are there, and what's the average distance to the closest pond. So we download the data for our quiz. We've got our duck nests and we've got our ponds. And let's symbolize our nests. Actually, we're just going to make them for mallard. So we'll do a definition query. So if I right mouse click and go to properties, and then definition query. So we want our species equal to get unique value one and then we'll verify this expression so it's successful and then okay and then we'll name our layer mallard nests okay so we could double check by opening our attribute table and field statistics on our species minimum and maximum is one so we do have 58 mallard nests so then the next step is for each nest, what's the distance to the closest pond? So you can either use the near tool, the generate near table tool, or the spatial join tool. And I will use the near tool. Executing the near tool, for every nest we have what is the distance to the closest pond. And then we want to create a table by age class give us the average distance to the closest pond. So to do that, we could use the summary statistics tool and we can use the field age class as our case field. So that would be our categories. So after we execute the summary statistics tool, we have a new table. So we have the age class, which was our case field, the count of the number of nests in each age class. And if we do statistics, it should sum up to our original of 58 mallard nests. And then we have the average distance. So let's make this just one to the right of the decimal. So if I go to properties and numeric, one to the right of the decimal and pad with zeros. So our hypothesis is true. As the age class gets older, the average distance to a pond gets closer and closer.